Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna make this design. This was daily design number 786, I believe. It's just a quick little walkthrough on how I made it. So let's jump right into it. First off, I'm going to write my text. For this, I just wanted to keep it in one line. This is a phrase from the Paramore song, from one of their songs that I like. I just changed the font, uh, you can see it on the side there, what font I used. I used, for some parts of the phrase, I used italic and some other parts I used bold. And then it's time to add the image. So this is the image I chose to add. I resized it and then I grabbed my lasso tool. I don't really like those ski lift thingies. So I'll just select those and use generative fill to remove them. I could have used content aware fill for this as well. That would have worked fine, but I did not want to rasterize my image. And so that's why I chose to use the generative fill. I didn't write anything. It just knows it has to remove it and it did a pretty good job. I could have rasterized the image before since I did that later, but you know, when I'm doing these daily designs, things i'm not really thinking about like being non-destructive and all that stuff i just go with what i'm feeling and try a bunch of stuff out till i like the result i then added a pattern this is a sort of like crt effect pattern i have lots of tutorials on how to make those and then i'm just sifting through the different blending modes to find one that i think suits well with the design I'm then double clicking on the pattern and try different sizes till I'm happy with the result. You can also change the angle of it, uh, but I like kind of like it to keep it straight as is. And then I reduce the fill a little bit. I'll then add another pattern for my patterns. I made a tutorial for this recently on my reels, Instagram reels and on my TikTok. It's a pretty cool pattern. Same thing here, sifting through the blending modes to see which one fits best with it. And then the lowering the fill. I want like a little subtle effect, not, don't want it to be too harsh. And next up, we're going to add, you guessed it, a gradient map. You guys know I love gradient maps. I live and breathe gradient maps, basically. So I'll just choose one that I think fits the mood well. And uh, then, go ahead and change the blending mode of that as well because I don't want it to be that harsh. I just want it to be like a soft color. Next, I brought my text up on top. I didn't want that to be affected by the gradient map so much. And then I'll select all the layers below that and merge them because why not? We, I, I kind of like the fact that I can't go back and fix everything or fix something. Otherwise, I spend too much time on these, and these are just to get my creative juices going. So I don't want to spend like four hours on this. This is like a 20 minute, 30 minute. Sometimes it's an hour, sometimes it's 10 minutes, but don't need to spend too much on these. Yeah. I just brought the original image back on top of everything, and, and I just lowered the opacity of it a bunch to like 20 percent subtle difference but noticeable um lastly i just merge everything together and add a, some noise from the filter noise add noise and lastly that you can't see here i just added a couple textures from my texture pack that you can find linked in the description down below and that's it that's how i got this result i hope you guys like it let me know in the comments. Also comment if you have any tutorial requests for next videos or if you kind of like this format where I explain how I get to my daily design. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.